Yes, and the number of women we've reported on in just the last month who have been assaulted or killed by their partners is something victims of domestic violence are paying attention to. CBS 42 News reporter Stefan Dingle joins us now live in Birmingham. And Stefan, you talk to some of these women who say running is all they could do to save their lives. Sherry, it's like a never-ending cycle that affects millions across this country and right here in Birmingham. So many women silenced by emotional, verbal, and physical abuse, but some break that cycle, and tonight we share their story. It's a tale all too familiar. I was in a domestic violence um, relationship, um, eventually married this person. I was in the house, uh, locked up with him for about three days where he would continually was beating me off and on. Told by women who were literally on the edge. I actually, um, back in November of 2015, was feeling really down about myself. And then in turn, at the end, uh, sexually abused me. Felt like nothing in my life at the time was going well and tried to commit suicide twice. But these women are survivors. So I went into the bathroom and pretended to take a bath. I ran the water and plugged up the phone. I snuck it in. Living to tell an incredible story of how they escaped the tight grip of love and abuse. And then just quietly as I could and gently as I could with the water running, as soon as I could get any kind of a charge, turned it on. And immediately I was like, oh, okay, he didn't hear because I knew that would be it. And then she called 911. That move helped save her life and the future of her beautiful children. But so many women aren't as lucky. It's scary at first, and you worry about finances. You worry about where am I going to go, where am I going to stay, how am I going to eat. All of that can be taken care of. You can't succeed with any of anything if you don't have your life. Powerful stories by those two women. Unfortunately, their story is a reality for so many other women that are silenced now. If you are domestic, in a domestically violent situation, you can head over to our website at WIT.com and click on this story to learn how to get help. We're live in Birmingham tonight. Stefan Dingle, CBS 42 News.